Thank you, Chair. Um, I am more positive about the result that we achieved than Mr. Schwab, because when Facebook users were duped by the illicit data harvesting, they could not jo start a joint case with other EU citizens against Cambridge Analytica. When hundreds of thousands of consumers were defrauded by Volkswagen in the Dieselgate scandal, US and Australian citizens could seek compensation together, but this was not the case for EU citizens. And earlier this year, the European Court of Justice ruled that a German woman couldn't claim compensation over faulty breast implants because the company that made them was only liable in France. And today marks an end to all that. Our new rules mean you can join with other people from your own country and from across Europe to fight for collective compensation. Consumers that have suffered harm will no longer have to wait years because different legal actions are ongoing, but instead benefit from one single procedure. That's a major step forward. I'm also pleased that SCAR's resources won't prevent justice for consumers. We're encouraging public funding for consumer organizations and calling for the costs of access to justice to be reduced. And in spite of fierce lobbying and resistance of national and industry interests, if your rights as a passenger on a train or plane are violated, for instance, in case of delays or poor service, you can start a collective lawsuit too. So today we are taking a crucial step, but of course there is more work to do. In the long run, collective redress should be available to all victims, I think, of harm at the hands of EU companies, whether or not those victims are EU citizens. And also in the future, I think collective redress should be available to citizens regardless of whether they are consumers or not. Because why can someone who owns a Volkswagen see compensation, but not someone who owns a bike and is forced to inhale diesel fumes at every traffic light? And I'm speaking from experience here. But those are all questions for the future. For now, I want to warmly thank the rapporteur and our negotiation team for good cooperation and for our excellent result. This new law will enhance consumer protection, improve access to justice, and hold companies to account where needed. Thank you.